Hey everyone, I was uh, requested to make a video about how I make my Doro Dangos on Reddit or uh, shiny mud balls. And uh, so here's just going to be a few clips of how I do it since I don't have any proper filming equipment. But here's the supplies that I have so far I got knee highs, or stockings, or whatever you want to call them, leggings. Uh, get them at Walmart for a couple bucks. I just have a uh, gallon or so Ziploc bag, a Tupperware, and then this is the dirt I just got out in the uh, backyard, and I baked it because it was wet, so now uh, you can see it's pretty dry, pretty powdery. There's a lot of rocks in here, so that's why we have the leggings to filter it out, and um, yeah, so next I'll go into how it's actually made. One more thing I'd like to point out about this dirt here is uh, it's not sandy at all. It kind of looks like it right here. That's just because it's clumped up, though. Um, it's really a lot of clay content. You don't want a lot of organic material, so stuff like this is all going to get sifted out. But if you get potting mix or something from the store, that's not going to work. All right, I'm outside now, uh, just so I don't get dirt all over my carpet. And here's what I'm doing. I'm just uh, filling these stockings here with the dirt. Now this dirt has to be dry, otherwise it won't filter out very well. And if you want to bake it in the oven, it doesn't really matter what temperature you put it at, uh, just as long as it's dry. So I'm going to fill these up, try to get about half of this in each, each one of my stockings, and then I'll put them in this bag here so I can sift out all the fine stuff. Alright, I got both of these things filled up here with the uh, dirt, and all I do to get the fine stuff out is just shake them in this bag a bit, go left and right or whatever you want, and you can see down there we're getting all the fine dirt out and leaving all the clumps in the stocking still. Alright, so I uh, finished sifting out this dirt here. Two leggings. This is all that's left. You can probably grind it up a little more in a mortar or pestle, something like that. But here's the result. Bunch of super fine dirt. Looks a little sandy, but once you get it wet, it'll it'll be all right. Here I put some plastic down so I can do this inside. But I just have my bag of fine dirt here for dusting the mud ball. I separated some out over here. Um, this will be the actual mud ball. I just put a couple handfuls of the fine dirt in there. And then I have half a cup of water here. Should be enough. And a spoon to scrape it out of the Tupperware. So I'm just going to add the water to this. It may look a little bit dry at first. Actually, that might be enough add a little bit more and then uh, it'll look dry but all this water is going to soak in really well and if your mud ball is too wet then it won't form properly and just be a big mess so I got it all mixed up now I uh, put a little bit too much water in there so I had to add some extra dry dirt this is maybe still a little too wet this is kind of the consistency of it. So now I'm just going to start forming this into a ball. Yeah, it's still a little wet. Start forming it into a ball, and um, there's two methods. One, you can use a shaper to shape your ball for you, or you can just uh, polish it and shape it by hand. Uh, I'll probably do the one where I use a shaper, but first I need to get this to dry off a little bit more so it'll form properly. Here's a little progress update. I made that mud ball down there plus I got this one here because I had to add so much dry dirt since I added way too much water. Which is what to focus. That's what happens when you take all these videos with a phone. But um, there's that. You can kind of tell it's it's not super soft anymore, 
It's kind of leathery a little bit, maybe a little softer than leathery. But uh, this is what you want your mud ball to look like, look like at the very start, and then make it rounder as time goes on. All right, so this is a little while later. Uh, I've been rolling this around in my hand, pretty much just like this, and using both hands. I can't use both hands right now because I'm holding the phone. But, uh, yep, just rolling it around, and what we're going to do now is put some dry dirt on it, the really fine dirt. It's gotten pretty hard because uh, it's been a couple hours now. I haven't been rolling it the whole time, just letting it dry out because I added too much water. But normally you just sprinkle the dirt on top here but since it's hard enough I'm just gonna roll it around alright and then once you have a this would focus once you have a covering of the fine dirt on top you can just scrape it off and this will leave all the fine particles on there since it's still slightly damp they stick to it and then you'll get a smooth-ish surface. And you just want to keep repeating this process for, I don't know, quite a while till it's leathery and you can kind of shine it with a cloth or something like that. Now it's still not going to be perfectly, perfectly dry and you're going to want to have this dry slowly. So maybe put it in the fridge but keep it in a bag or something to keep some of the humidity in there. It's been a little bit longer now, and uh, I've been polishing this a little bit with a blue rag I have right here. Just been rubbing it on there, and I'm still adding dry fine dirt to it just to make sure there's little particles that keep sticking because otherwise I probably won't be able to focus it here, but there's little divots in the mud ball, and I'm kind of rubbing them out with this cloth, but I also want to keep filling them in with more dirt. So I'm going to keep doing that for a while, and then I'll be back. I've kept working on this uh, a bit more. Man, I wish this thing would focus better. So it's getting kind of shiny. Um, I wanted to show you the, the other technique, though, of shaping the mud balls. And here's the other ball I started. I haven't really worked on it much at all. But I have a hydro flask thing right here. This isn't the best way of doing it. You might want a sharper lip on whatever you're using. But you can just take the ball, put it on top, and then rotate it and scrape it along the rim. Now this ball's really soft, so I might mess it up right here. But that's all right. So yeah, I did mess it up a little bit right there, but it will eventually make the ball nearly perfectly round. So this ball is a little soft to be doing that, but that's another method. This is how I kept my mud ball overnight since I had to go to work. Just put it in a paper towel in a plastic bag and stuck it in the fridge. Some of the water came out, which is good, but we don't want it to come out too fast, otherwise the outside will crack. It's not very shiny yet, but I'll be able to work on it a little more before it hardens all the way. This is about as shiny as I can get this thing right now with the cloth that I have. I've been working on it for maybe an hour or two now, and it's not super shiny, but I need something harder to shine it with, like uh, a large metal spoon or the lip of that hydro flask would have worked. Uh, I just didn't use those at the time. So it's not going to be quite as shiny as if I used those. And I might need either a rougher cloth or something else just to get this a little shinier. But this is pretty much how I made my Doro Dango. I don't really have anything more to say. Sorry about the camera quality and stuff. Oh well, have fun making your mud balls. I tried sanding this uh, mud ball down and it didn't really work. That was 1500 grit and then I have up to 12,000 but 
kind of ruined it. Didn't really help it at all. It probably has to be a little more wet when I'm doing it. Kind of leathery. But I'm going to do a drop test because uh, this one's ruined now. Huh.